show y'all how I lay my wigs down. I made the wig yesterday. I was gonna film myself like making the wig. I was doing other shit while I was making my wig. So that's another reason why I didn't do it. But at the same time, I really just didn't want to because when it comes to making that wig, I just need to sit down and focus. And I also put um, a couple tracks of 613. The 613 was real like golden. So I put, uh, I washed it with shimmer lights to knock off that like Goldilocks look. Cause I really don't like that kind of blonde. I don't like the Goldilocks blonde. When I wear 613, I want it to be kind of icy. So, and also let me teach y'all another thing. Cause me personally, I like long hair. I don't like short hair. So to, even though you buy a long length, you're still sewing it on a cap instead of like a sewing. Cause you know, when you're doing a sewing, you can put that anchor braid right there and you see the hair true length. But with the cap, it kind of like prevents you. Cause you know, it's that band right there. But I sew on the band. I just make sure I'm not sewing through the strap, the elastic band. And just want to uh, sew on the cloth. Y'all see how low I put the, hold on. Y'all see how low I put the track? And I could have put it lower, but I felt like, because uh, y'all see how it was kind of, it's lower on this side and higher on this side. That was me trying to put it lower. So, uh, but it was good enough like that though. <sighs> So, oh, and another thing, me per this is it's really a preference thing. I do not, y'all see how that how it's blended? But anyways, I do not um wear the stocking cap. I just put my wig on. When I initially started wearing wigs, I was wearing a stocking cap, but as time went on, I stopped doing that. And the reason why is because me personally, I feel like it doesn't make or break your install, so to say. Plus, I have sensitive skin. <laughs> all them, all that glue and shit be breaking me out. So I can't, I can't do all that. I can't be, I can't do all that. So them is the two reasons why I do not do the ball cap method. That's just too much going on for me to lose. So I'm gonna use Ghost Bond. I'm waiting on Erica J's glue to get here. I ordered it last night. I've been trying to get this fucking glue for months. Everybody saying how good it is, how much it holds, because I have oily skin. My lace will lift up quick. But uh, the glues, that, like this Ghost Bond, I have Ghost Bond, and I have Chic Bond. I don't know if Chic Bond is sold everywhere, but I got this in Dallas. And this is not even sold at all the beauty supplies in Dallas, but this is a good glue, too. So right here, you guys see me going in with my Ghost Bond. I'm going to put that on the perimeter of my hairline, so... I can put the wig on. I'm going to smooth it out and wait until the glue turns clear so I can attach the lace to my skin. So now that the glue has turned clear, I'm going to pull down the lace and I'm going to attach it to my skin. Now I'm just pressing the lace and the glue together to make sure they adhere. So to help this process, you want to get a rat tail comb or a wide tooth comb so you can go in and comb the front of the lace and press it down into the glue so the reason why you want to do that is so the glue and the lace can literally melt together that's what gives you that scalp look but you want to do it before it dries me personally sometimes i don't even use the blow dryer but the blow dryer does help the process to actually stick and adhere together So I'm going in on the cool setting with my blow dryer to help dry the glue. So it's on there. Um, it's on there. <laughs> I went in and dried it on the cool setting. So yeah, I didn't do it 
on heat. Usually I do do it on heat, but I did it on cool this time because from what I've seen on YouTube, they be doing it on cool. So I just tried it and I think it's more effective. When I'm cutting my lace off, I like to cut as close to my hairline as possible. I hate seeing the extra lace because I feel like it makes your wig look wiggish. And yes, the people around you may know that you're in a frontal, but that doesn't mean it has to look like one. So with this install particularly, I the where I put on my frontal, it didn't exactly meets where the hair like the glue the edge of the glue and my hairline did not meet so where I was cutting it off I had lace glued onto my forehead that didn't have any hair there so that is why I ended up putting um the baby hairs that I put later on in the video y'all see that So you want to cut it as close to your hairline as possible and I can honestly cut some more as y'all see it's this lace right there in that section that can be gone that could be gone that could be gone but it's glued on there so I'm gonna just have to put some baby hair or something. It's on here good. So now I'm just going to go on the other side of my forehead and basically just repeat the same process.
first let me style it because i don't even i don't want to place the baby hairs in the wrong spot so first let's do that let's down So since oh, I need to plug some more too. Let me do that first. I bought some brand new tweezers. These are brand new. Um, I feel like if you're, you know, you have to do an install. Cause I do have a couple of tweezers, but they're not new. They're like months old. So if you know you finna, you know you're about to do a install. Yo, tweezers aren't like I say no more. Like they're older than three months. Then buy you some new tweezers. I'm done curling my hair. I got it pinned up. And as y'all see, I already did one side of my baby hairs. So I'm going to just uh, cut this a little bit. And do the rest of the baby hairs on camera. Comb out the hair. And I'm also going to layer it. Because. Oh, hold on. Tweaking. Better. I'm also going to layer my hair. Uh, I didn't layer it yet. I wanted to put it in the curls first. I find that works much better. Uh, layering the hair after it's already styled because that way you see how you want everything to lay because, you know, you already did the style, you know? So you just, that point, just seeing how you want want the hair to fall so that's why I styled it first instead of going into just layering the hair so I do like a good amount of like baby hair not gonna lie so I'm mixing this lot of body styling lotion as you see like I can't turn it into foam because like a little droplet and i'm also going to mix in the eco styler the gel eco styler the i like how both sit on the hair and i comb it out too i don't just let it be dry
So guys, this is the final look. I promise y'all, this is literally like one of my favorite installs. I love how this turned out. I love this unit. You know, I love it, love it, love it, love it so much. So if you guys love this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Tell me you guys what you want to see. Share this video all over the place so we can get these views up and running. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and watching my videos. Tell a friend, tell your boyfriend, tell your girlfriend, tell whoever about me so they can get some tips and some tricks. And I promise y'all I'll be coming out with more videos. See you soon.